Most people know that Excel has a lot of charting capabilities that you can use to help analyze your data. Um, but today I'm going to talk about uh, what I call an in-cell bar chart. And it's a way that when you have a list of data like this, you can create a, a bar chart or a graphical representation of the numbers in a column right within your report instead of having a separate representation over in a, in a separate chart. Um, we can do that, do that using the repeat function. It's a really simple function. We're just going to type equals R-E-P-T and then open the parentheses. And then we put in the, the text that we want to repeat, and that has to be surrounded by quotation marks. So I'm going to start off um, by using a capital I, and then we'll type a comma, and we'll tell it how many times we want this uh, character to be repeated. So we're going to use the number that's here in cell B2. And we'll close the parentheses. And you can see by using the capital I, now it's, I've got kind of a line created there, and we'll fill that down. And so you can see we've essentially created a bar chart. So instead of having to look, you know, at numbers to analyze them, we can get a quick, you know, graphical representation of the quantities that have been sold. So we can see what's high and what's low. Um, now you can make it look a little nicer. Uh, you can use any character that you want. Um, you can insert symbols. You could use, you know, since it's a sales chart, if you want to put dollars in there, you could do whatever you want. Um, and if you're... If you're geeky enough to be familiar with ASCII codes, you could even use those. So right here, if I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard and I type in 220 on the number pad, let go of the Alt key, and I get that little character right there. Fill that down, and now we see a, a little smoother, nicer looking, nice, nicer looking chart. Um, so I used really small numbers here to make for a, a simple example, but if these numbers were bigger, you can see that suddenly, you know, our bar chart is completely useless because it's it's too big to be you know to be useful. But the simple solution there is you just divide this to get a, a number that makes it useful to you. So in this case, we'll divide by 100 fill that back down, and you see that now we're back to having lines that are of a useful length. So there you have a really quick, simple demonstration of how you can use the repeat function to create in-cell bar charts right within a report. Hope you find that useful.